you wanted to make sure that at least one of us liked it, but um, it was pretty cool. Uh, Dennis actually spotted the fact that they were in the, they were right in front of us on our table. So when we opened it up and put it on, it, it definitely was a, a special feeling. Hey, Joe, talk, talk about, you know, the sacrifices that as a child from Little League that you put away a lot of things as far as, you know, from your childhood to get to this point to rid of the ring. How did that all feel? Of us, I mean, I think all yeah. of us from the time we were young uh, had dreams to play at this level and at some, at, at some point do this. Uh, so, you know, obviously to reach that goal last year was something special. And then just to be here tonight and kind of celebrate it with your teammates and some guys that aren't here anymore and guys that you're going to be battling with next year. Um, it's a lot of fun, and it's definitely pretty special. So are you a kind of guy that's going to wear it, or are you just going to put it nah, on? I don't think so. It, it's kind of unwearable. But, uh, <laughs> so, you know, over the next couple of days when I go home and, you know, probably over the next month, you know, when I see people for the first time, I'm sure they're going to have some interest in seeing it, or at least I'm going to have some interest in showing it off to them. <laughs> so I'm definitely going to bring it a couple of places. I don't, I don't necessarily – I wouldn't necessarily say I'm, I'm going to wear it, but um, – uh, it's pretty special. I mean, you don't come across these things too often, so I'm definitely going to want to show it off a little bit. Joe, what did it mean when Steve called you out during the speech and just talked about you know, how much you made the team and his confidence in you? It's pretty cool. I mean, Steve's an awesome dude and a great owner. And, um, this is a great organization. I think if you're here tonight, which obviously you guys are, you can see how special of a night this is and how how over the top they went for it. And, um, you know, I, I think that just says a lot about him, and you know, obviously I'm honored that you know, you would bring me up. All right, Joe. Thanks, guys. Yeah, All right. 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 All you know, it was just, it was just, it was, it was, it was more bitter than, it, I mean, it was more sweet than it was bitter, but um, it, was, it was glad to, you know, after 11 years, to, you know, put that ring on, you know, you've been chasing it ever since you get drafted, you know, first thing you say, I want to win a Super Bowl, and, you know, some of us are fortunate, like Courtney Upshaw, who win it in their first year, and some of us have to wait a little longer, you know, but um, it was definitely a great feeling, but... You know, it's also kind of, you know, it's a little sad because a lot of guys didn't get to enjoy it that deserved it, that had every bit of part of us winning the Super Bowl, boy, in the room tonight for one reason or another. So. Terrell, growing up uh, with, with dreams that you can make it to this level and, and wear a uh, ring, how's it feel? It's surreal, man. It's not really a word that can be used to describe it, you know what I mean? Uh, I knew the ring was right in front of me. Because I was going to switch seats, and they said, you might not want to do that. It kind of hit it. But, um, <laughs> you know, to have it just so close, you know what I mean? It kind of, right, it finally hit me just what exactly, what we, what we accomplished together. And, you know, it didn't take a year. You know, it took, it took like I said, it took me 11 years to get it. You know, it took Coach Harbaugh from, you know, from when he got here in 08. He's been chasing us, you know what I mean? And, uh, it finally paid off, you know what I mean? All that, all that blood was given. Like I said, it's price is not a word I can use to describe it. It's just how I'm feeling right now, all the emotions. So, what was your first thought when you opened the box? Um, blood diamonds. <laughs> 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 Got gave up all that blood, you know, for these diamonds. You know what I mean? And, uh, the, 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 the road, you know, the journey was long, but it was worth it. You know, it was worth it. But I would tell you this. I damn sure want to feel like this again. So, all right, fix this. Lombardi, but you know now you get the rings, and you know not only do you get that, you realize like you know you you you've you all done it, but it like it really symbolizes that this is the last time that you know we're all going to be together as a team, and you know it's definitely a special moment. You have trouble looking away from it, I can tell. <laughs> I told y'all what I was going to be like. I didn't cry anything, but. You know, I can see how women feel when they get away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I keep looking at this thing. And, you know, it's in, you know, it has a lot of different meanings. You know, like, you know, when, if there'll never be another season like this, you know, and we can win the Super Bowl every year, you know, while I'm in the league and there'll be nothing like this.
What's it feel like? You're a big family guy. You lost your brother. Uh, how, how's it feel to, for a full circle to be able to wear the ring? I mean, it's it's huge. You know, it's it's funny that I actually have to go home tonight from here and drive straight back down to Virginia. So waking everybody up <laughs> <laughs> that I come home and show it to them. And as much as it is accomplishment for myself individually, you know, it means a lot for my family and my family here and the Ravens and our city. You know, like I said. It's, it's amazing. You know, mm -hmm. It's a feeling that you really can't put in words. Mm -hmm. Is the fire to win the second win just as strong as win your first one? Second. Is the fire to win another one just, just yeah, as strong as know, the I, first? I've heard a lot of folks say that you kind of, you know, teams kind of fall off because they celebrate and you know they, they feel like they made it. Like no, like that feeling we've had mm -hmm. all off season. Like I want that again. Right. You know, and the fact that I've had the opportunity to experience it so early, you know, it drives you that much more. You know, we're out there working and. And we want to feel it again. And there's so many guys who, even though we lost, about what it seems like a lot of guys, you know, we still have. Think of a better memento for your final NFL season than that thing you got in the first No, I mean, it's, it's really simple, man. You know, the conversations that we share with each other and through the ups and downs, through everything that we went through, and, and knowing that, uh, you know, I always told them that I wanted them to, to, to really feel what that confetti felt like, you know. And now to be here, to have something to, that symbolizes it. You know, it's the ultimate because now it, it connects us forever. And I think that's the biggest thing, and that's why I wanted my team to see that. You know, people like Sizzle, you know, being in now his 10th, 11th, 12th year, and Joe being early, you know, in his fifth year. But to get it now, you know, it keeps that home in your mouth. But it took me 12 years to get back to get another room. You know, so I want them to cherish what this moment feels like. Because right now, we, you know, are we world champs. Ready to with the brainstorming, uh, was anything about this design surprise you? Uh, no. I think it didn't surprise us because we had we had a lot of conversation. You know, Steve uh, really entrusted in a lot of us. You know, me, Joe, and a couple guys just kept texting back and forth until we kind of figured it out and uh, kind of what we liked, what direction we was going in. And uh, from there, he kind of took off with it, and you know, he, he, he made a beautiful ring. How does it feel to have two on? How does it feel to have two on uh, <laughs> two on at a time, right? Yeah, it's uh, you know when you you know you kind of watching the NBA Finals and you know. That they're fighting for one thing right now, and that's mm -hmm. a championship ring. You know, and, and when you're in our business, you know, these right here, to have two of them on my hand right now is the ultimate. You know, to, to get one in my fifth year like Joe did, and now to get one in my 17th year and, and end like that, there's no better way to go out, you know, when you talk mm -hmm. about going out that I can hold this the rest of my life and know I went out as mm -hmm. champ. Ray, they say you always remember your first, but what would you remember about when you look at both of them? What would be the first thing that really comes to your mind? I think, honestly, the journey, the, the entire journey, you know, because every year had something different going on. Um, 